This conference will now be recorded. Uh, this is Bill O'Brien subbing for Ken Poisson for the October 3rd, 2022 Public Works Committee, calling to order at 5.10 p.m. Uh, can we have someone approve, make a motion to approve the minutes of September 6th? Motion to approve. I'll second. Any discussion? And I, uh, I approve, so unanimous. Um, what, can we skip and go to John first, uh, Aileen, so that we make sure we get that taken care of? Absolutely. Okay. Okay, John, why don't you uh, go ahead? So we have the one uh, action item is the award of the contract for the underground store, stormwater storage at Bennell High School and the Baldwin Center slash Perry House. Um, we had four bids ranging from $670,000 to $294,000. Um, so the low bidder, um, we've checked his bid over. We've we've talked to him. He said he's comfortable with his number. And uh, those are found in item 8A, if you want to see the, the bid breakdown. Um, but we're recommending award to resource services from Bridgeport, Connecticut, in the amount of $294,700. So I guess we need a motion. Council with the favorable recommendation. Yes. I'll make a motion to approve item AA, the Baldwin Perry House, no parking lot stormwater storage um, in the amount of $294,700. And sent, that needs to be sent to town council uh, with favorable re recommendation. And I'll second that. Any discussion? John, I just wonder what what do you think about there being such a big difference between that the bid and the others? Um, I one of one of the size of the contractor resource services is a smaller contractor, um, but this project will be spread out um, in and constructed in phases, so it might be okay for the smaller contractor. He can kind of come in and do a little bit here and do a little bit there. And um, or the big contractor probably just wants to come in and knock it all off. So um, Darling Construction was the next lowest bidder. Uh, we compared the, the bid items and we we asked resource, did, you know, do you have any questions or did, did you make any substitution of materials that we should know about? And they said, no, they, they bid it as the plan said. So. They were comfortable with their bid, you know, and we're we we're recommending we go with that low bid offer. Oh, good. I like it. I like the much lower bid as long as you're comfortable with it. We have worked with resource services before on a couple of smaller projects, so we know he's um, you know he's competent and you know he's good to work with. So if he says he can do it, you know we'll we'll give him a give him a try to do it. Of course, the project is bonded. So uh, the full, you know, we are protected with a labor and material bond. All right, if there's nothing else, uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, passes unanimously. Anything else, John? Uh, so there's a lot that I was trying to get on for this meeting, but we didn't get everything submitted. So if you can see through my report, there's a couple items where I'm saying, uh, we're waiting for proposal. We hope to get it for November. So, um, you know, I hope we do have our November meeting. I think if we get these proposals, we want to act on them. Uh, the Honey Spot Road, Stratford Ave, Roundabout is one uh, where there's some extra work that um, we need to have the contract, the consultant do that was requested by DOT um, in addition to what we just approved for them. Um, Circle Drive and Broadbridge and Broad Street Bridge, both those bridge projects, we are we're per, starting the permitting phase. And consultants been getting those uh, applications together, um, and has emailed information to DEP. So the the permitting has begun on those officially. Those two projects. Um, the Bruce Brook is probably the one that I'm sorry. Fifth Ave Tigate is one that will have some extra work. Um, that they, they weren't able to get it for today, but they will next next week. Um, and then Bruce Brook is 
the one that the mayor has just announced. We've we've the state of Connecticut is uh, going to give us our our uh, requested grant application for 1.6 million dollars for the construction of uh, phase one, design and construction of phase one. Um, so once that grant is filtered down to us, you know we would be looking to have the consultant do the work necessary to to finish the design of that project of course we've been under design already so we have a good set of plans but they're not finalized yet so we'll ask for a proposal to finalize the plans um, we have to redo the inland wetland and permit for stratford and bridgeport on that project because uh, we permitted that originally as part of a bigger project and now we have funds for doing the smaller initial phase so we'll we'll separate that out we'll we'll go back and re-permit that so there'll be cost to do that um, and then the cost to bid it and and oversee the construction phase um, we'll have that all done under the under the bid under the grant so you know just looking forward to give you a heads up that in november or december on this project we'll have some extra work items that we, we want to execute so we can keep moving on those projects. Are you getting cooperation from Bridgeport? Uh, we did go to Bridgeport originally for our bigger bigger project, um, and we did get our, our inland wetland permit from them. Of course, the, the, the brook splits the, the town line and city line, so we have to go to both agencies. Um, so we got it approved once i you know i don't see a problem with getting the smaller project get approved again yeah uh, that's great news on the grant that's for sure yes yeah. uh mr chairman or bill sure <laughs> <laughs> uh, mr casey um with the update for bruce brook um so when will they actually start to be able to do work will it be in six to eight months or with all the processes that the town both the town both cities really have to go through yeah well i don't even know when we're actually going to get the grant so let's assume we get the grant in january um formalized you know then we would start the the permitting so that's that would and then not only local permitting but also the dep permitting um we'll do that you know, the DEP permit could could take, you know, six to 12 months to get approved. Uh, I don't think it should take that long, but, you know, in these days, day and age, it does take that long. So it could be 12 months from January just to get the plans ready for bidding. So mm -hmm. then it would be the following spring, summer, fall when we do the project. Thank you. Well, as I read this report, I was thinking that uh, you know public works and rec department are busy departments, but is there a busier small department than yours, John? Well, we're 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 part of public works, and so is rec. So it's imagine you know public works department is very busy. <laughs> no, thank you. Anybody have anything else for John? If not, we'll have uh, Renee. I do. I have one question regarding the report. Sure. Thanks. Bob. All right. Um. Patterson and East Main Street, um, the work that's being done there in regards to the road, I've gotten a couple of residents just really concerned because they drive over and it's like a, you know, it's not a pothole, but it's not smooth. Um, it, do we know, I know that's a state road, but is there any update on when they're actually gonna smooth all that over or do they have to open so it up and then go back in? So that's item 13 on my on my memo. It's um, the they're doing right now is the water main uh, relocation, and then when they're done with that, they're going to come in and put in the drainage culvert that crosses the street from Public Works over to toward Ashcroft. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's a kind of a long duration project because they're doing the water main first, then they'll come in and do the the culvert, and then they do their then they'll do the final restoration work and that probably wouldn't isn't going to be done until the next next spring i'm going to say um, okay. 
you know, it's possible they can do it depending on the weather, you know, this fall. But if if the weather turns, you know, then it would be next next spring when they'd finish it up. Is it possible to have signs put there that say slow, there's a bump or something in the road? Because people just, you know, it's right before the turn um, on yeah, the matter. We'll, we'll check that out. They should have construction ahead signs already in place. Uh, DOT is pretty, <laughs> pretty stringent about their traffic control and signage and whatnot, but we'll check and make sure that's up. Thank you. Not for anything. They were out there, closed the road again today. They're not nearly done. I mean, they're still rerouting everybody around that intersection. So the bump is just there, a temporary patch while they're working, if it means anything. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, John. And now, uh, Renee, I mean, Dan acting as Renee. I don't know if did Renee pass out um, her list of all the projects to you guys? Yeah. All right. I don't know how she normally questions. does it. So she just take questions or. Yep. Yeah. You want to go I first, Caitlin? Uh, yeah. Thank you. Hopefully, I can answer. Sure. Um, Dan, is there any update um, for the tennis courts? Our last meeting, it was about the bids that had gone out and they had come back three times the budget. Yeah, I have not heard anything since then. I'm not involved that involved. I was trying to just make a phone call before to see if I can get more information on that because I don't I really don't know. I'm not that involved in that project, unfortunately. So I could find out, but I don't have that answer right now. Okay. And then my second question in relation to the existing um dilapidated clay court that's there. Mm -hmm. And then adjacent to that where um the pickleball court is. I've just gotten um, a couple of residents asking if, you know, the vegetation can be cut back so it looks not as messy. As, as yeah, it does look pretty messy. Yeah. I'll I mean, talk to the Parks Department tomorrow and have them clean that all out. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know. I, I don't think people go on to the clay courts. Like when I drive by, I'll see them. I don't know if something needs to be locked again or... Yeah, the, the lock might be off the gate. We'll put a padlock on it. Thank you. You're welcome. And then I have one more question. Sure. About Longbrook. Um, is there any update for the CIP budget that was allocated for Longbrook? Since we're almost at the end of 22, going into 22. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm over for two on your questions. I don't know. <laughs> That's okay. I sent it also in an email to Renee, so. Okay. Appreciate it. Sorry about that. I didn't have a lot of time That's to prepare. Okay. Sure. That's okay. Jean Marie, you have anything? You're on mute. Sorry, I just realized I needed. I don't know if this is the public works. Or I'm going through the superintendent, as a matter of fact. So I don't know if this is related to you guys or not. But I'm not sure if you're aware of what's happening at Worcester. So two things. There are nail pops coming through the ceiling of their gym, which is causing water issues. Um, and I don't know if you guys are aware of that at Public Works. And then they also have a major water problem that has shut down their boys' lives. It's been destroyed and shut down the boys' locker room there, which takes away from their gym programming as far as their, you know, changing and whatnot. So I don't know if I still need to stick with going through the Board of Ed with that, or, I mean, it's something that's kind of cross. Pass. Yeah, no, uh, I could look. I could look into that because they should be pretty close on that roof. So I will go over there and find out why they have. Yeah, look looks. at the ceiling. I have photos of it. If they're not making the story, I mean, you look up, you see those nails coming through the roof, the metal, as a matter of fact. So. Yeah, well, they screw down the insulation with the long screws, and the thing is, the other ceiling was spray painted afterwards, so you didn't notice the screws. Oh, so okay, so the not we fine. Have the, we have the okay. same thing over at Bird's Eye. They were complaining about it, but. It's just that you can see the screws now because they're black and the ceiling's white. Okay, so yeah, but originally they, have a they, they sprayed it afterwards. Yeah, because the gym. We'll, we'll check on the leaks though. Yeah, and then make sure the locker room. Yep. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hey Dan, what painting is being done at Booth Park? Um, right now, we, we painted the Americana Barn. Um, we don't really have anything planned. The next building I was looking at was the train museum. 
because that needs some work. So we just completed the roof on that. So I think next we'll check on the, the painting and any rotted wood that we have there. It was nice to see all the uh, lines were redone on the parking lots up there. And yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Well, let me throw this out about the uh, Veterans Museum building. We've talked about the idea that it would look much nicer white. Than, and so it would match up the other buildings at Booth. And is that something, if we could get someone to do it, donate it, is that a, a doable thing? Yeah, I think we just have to clear, you know, talk to the mayor about it and Renee as far as the color, but I don't I don't personally see that as a problem. It would just match up nicer with the other buildings and it, it could use a good yeah. painting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then I got, I don't, I don't know. And we still, have, we still have to get there and fix some of that rotted wood there too. The other thing I need to talk to somebody in public works um, about having recycling bins at the big events like the Latin Festival and even with the upcoming Pumpkin Festival. I noticed that all these big events, so many of the deposit bottles and cans just get thrown in the garbage. Okay, that would be parks. They normally, they're supposed to put out recycling bins along with the garbage pails. But maybe they're just not marked clearly. That could be, yeah. And how about one last thing? Well, I guess we'll talk about this at the next meeting, but do you know anything about the HVAC issues at Stratford High? Uh, yes, too much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there, there's, there's a lot of problems over there. I've been going back and forth um, with Turner and with MJ Daly as far as they're the mechanical contractor that did the work. And um, we're also bringing, we might bring a third party in there to take a look at the system, but we've gone through, we've had a lot of problems. Most of the stuff is out of warranty now. So it's gonna be on us. So, I'm just doing everything I could as far as with Turner and with MJ Daly to make sure everything's working properly before they um, disappear. All right, thanks. You're welcome. Well, if there's nothing else, I think we're just about right for the next meeting. And let's see, Aileen, I see you have um, our next regular meeting Monday, November 7th. And then new new business. That's um, we already talked about that, right? Yep. So you guys want to talk amongst yourselves because the next meeting day before election day. So I don't know if the council people are available, and if the answer is going to be no, you know I want to know ahead of time. But then maybe because John has the things that he's going to need to to be approved maybe we could do something like the week before we could dip into my the following week when i have no meetings but you know something just put have that thought rattling around in your head well the week before is halloween <laughs> oh. yeah yeah personally right. i don't see a problem with that it's okay it's just a half hour before election night hmm? Well, like Laura Dancho might not be available. Correct. Right. Okay, motion to adjourn. Come on, Billy. Motion to adjourn. Jean Marie seconds. All in favor? Yes. Aye. Thank you. Meeting adjourned at 529. Perfect timing. Thanks, John.